In South Africa tonight, violent demonstrations following the execution of guerrilla leader and poet Benjamin Moisi. Two policemen were stabbed and others stoned by black mourners. Moisi was executed today for the 1982 murder of a black policeman. The UN had made several pleas for clemency and Bishop Desmond Tutu predicted the execution would only aggravate problems, an opinion shared by his daughter in the United States. To put Moisi to death is very likely to spark violence, renewed violence inside the country. And it's also a display of his stupidity. While the violence in South Africa continues, there is an anti-apartheid protest of another kind here at home. News 9's Matthew Schwartz reports it comes in the form of a song. The song Sun City blasts South Africa's apartheid policy and charges the Reagan administration with not doing enough about it. It's named for the glitzy Las Vegas-like town amidst all the poverty. Guitarist Steve Van Zant got Bruce Springsteen, Hall and & Oates, and 50 other musicians to donate their time to make the strong political statement. They were looking for a way to express their outrage at what was going on down there and what continues to be a uh, a worsening situation. Proceeds will aid South Africa's political prisoners and anti-apartheid groups. The single has sold well since its release yesterday and is getting a lot of radio play. They're using it any kind of vehicle, any way that they can to get a message across. And I'm glad. Do you think there's a danger of musicians getting too political and turning off a lot of the public? I think that's always a danger. I think uh, judgment is going to have to prevail. Uh, people are going to have to make really good, hard decisions about what causes they support. We asked the people at Tower Records to play Sun City. Customers listened to lyrics such as, 23 million can't vote because they're black. We're stabbing our brothers and sisters in the back. Some of the lyrics are a little critical. And you know, when you're dealing with the public, you have to be careful. Would you buy this song? Yes, I would. It's nice to see that people are willing to stand up for whatever they believe in. There's no word yet on Washington's reaction to Sun City, but it could be interesting. Because when President Reagan was in New Jersey earlier this year, he warmed up the crowd by heaping huge praise on Bruce Springsteen. The boss is now one of the president's strongest critics on record. Matthew Schwartz, News 9, Manhattan.